at least one game in St. Louis. If they're going to advance to the second round, those goalie Jake Allen was about 300 times better in 2015 than the playoffs two seasons ago. Charlie Coyle is probably still wondering how Allen stopped that shot in the second period last night. It was one of 52 shots the Wild peppered Allen with. He stopped all but one of them. St. Louis only had 26 shots on goal, but this was the one that mattered. Vladimir Tarasenko did the heavy lifting, and Joel Edmondson scored the game winner in overtime. Down 1-0 in the series, the Wild are far from hitting the panic button. You're not looking at, uh oh, you know, there's only three more games left. I mean, I think if we played that that way and 10% better, then I think the result will be a little bit different. And and we've all looked at the way we've played these guys all year. That they've been pretty close games. I mean. So we, we anticipate a long series. It is a best of seven, but only about 12% of teams that fall behind 0-2 in series end up coming back to win in the NHL. So tomorrow night's game two is about as critical as they come. Don't forget, it is a normal 7 o'clock start tomorrow night in St. Paul. All right, Chris, thank you. Stay up to date with the latest as the Minnesota Wild look to bring home a championship to the Twin Cities. And be sure to watch our sports coverage with Joe Schmidt and Chris Long right here on 5 Eyewitness News. With warmer weather comes a familiar sight out on Minnesota roads. Orange Cones, MnDOT kicked off the 2017 construction season by highlighting some big projects on Minnesota roads. There are 211 projects on tap. Some of the highlights include finishing the St. Croix River Crossing in Oak Park Heights and moving a highway in Virginia. That'll end up being the tallest bridge in Minnesota. And of course, there are projects on Interstate 94, 35W, Highway 169, and 694 that will cause headaches here in the Met Twin Cities Metro this summer. You can see the full list of projects online right now at KSTP.com. For those who live in Brooklyn Park can learn more about the proposed Blue Line extension plan. An open house is happening right now until 7 p.m. at the Brooklyn Park Library. The 13-mile light rail extension would connect Minneapolis to Brooklyn Park, Robbinsdale, Crystal, and Golden Valley. Emotional reaction from a family of a man dragged off a United flight. We were horrified and shocked and sickened. Okay, what this Kentucky just can't David get any cuter. Had to say about the incident that's gained international attention. And there has been a lot of talk about who can be sweet at professional sports games here in Minnesota. A new bill today by the ballpark company. <laughs> Who's that all kept us a little cooler today. I'm going to show you when showers will result in those clouds. It's coming up with our forecast. Oh, it's your turn. Your turn. <laughs> Five Eyewitness News investigative team, your story idea could turn into our next big investigation. Call the tip line at 612-5-TV-NEWS and leave us a message. Watch Chris Eggert and Megan Newquist on Five Eyewitness News Morning. There are many benefits to becoming a member with the Cremation Society of Minnesota. To find out more information or to register, go to cremationsocietyofmn.com. Cremation Society of Minnesota, the new tradition. For a limited time only at VisionWorks, get a free frame up to 100